We hope you're enjoying the Mutual Audio Network. Stick around, there's much more to come. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. It's a damnation of society's creation of a man with a heart of stone It's just the expected, he loves being rejected and now he's all alone You were having a bad dream, love. Whoa, was I? <laughs> Sorry, guys. You woke me up. I need me rest, me. If you want a repeat of last night. Yeah, me and all. Oh, sorry, lads. Sorry. I'm here as well. Who are you? Who is she? Cheeky cow. I come all the way back here. Hang on, love. Who are you? Were you at the club? No. I was already here from the night before. You asked me back, Rosie. Gentlemen and lady, please. I have a very long day tomorrow and I need my sleep. Can we please stop fighting and get some shut eye? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, wait. I need a piss now. Oh, God. You're listening to Bick and Hole Radio. A Bick and Hole in One. Bick and Hole Radio. Pick and Hole News. News for locals with me, Barbara Dish. Many residents came out in force today to protest the opening of Bick and Hole's first ever LGBTQ nightclub. Bertie's has come under intense scrutiny since it was announced that the beloved Bick and Hole landmark Hole Trinity Church was earmarked as its permanent home. Locals say it's a travesty and a mark of the devil himself. But the new owners of the nightclub claim it's advantageous, as many of the church's staff still work there. Fuck me. I've got to get another job, mate. This show was just a fucking waste. Oh, not this again. No, seriously, right. Remember yesterday when some old git called in to tell me his psoriasis had spread to his ball sack? He thought I was the village pharmacist, for fuck's sake. Yeah, but you helped him, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I advise them to keep it lubricated. That's what you got to do, see. But it's only because I know from experience. Yeah. Hey, wait. Speaking of itchiness, aren't you seeing that fella tonight? Oh, I don't know. He's a bit... bizarre. I thought that's why you liked him. Well, yeah, but there's no job description. I mean, take the other night, right? We were back at mine, big light off, you know. He wanted me to eat pastrami off his... face, right? Now, I like pastrami, I do. But I can't be doing with picking the beard hairs from me teeth afterwards. You know what I mean? God, you need to get tested, you. Shut it, will ya? Besides, you can't get gonorrhea from a beard anyway. Can ya? You can. And besides, I meant your brain. Oh. God, yeah. Tell me something new. I wish something, anything exciting would happen. You may be in luck, my diseased little friend. Take a butchers at this beauty. Well, what do you want me to do with this? Hang on. Thank you, Barbara. How you managed to get through that without sedation, I'll never know. Now, burning dilemma on everyone's lips. Would you rather die of the runs or hiccup yourself to death? I'll be hearing from you after this. Introducing the new BDSM ASMR podcast. 
tighten those knots and loosen up. I still don't know what you want me to do with this. Give it to the guy with the runs. He's going to call again. No. We help him. This would help him. OK. Ow. Good evening, you lovely, lovely lot. Thank you for tuning in. It's a gorgeous evening here in the greenhouse. Neil and I are with you until 10pm tonight. At 9 we'll be doing your dedications. But remember, keep them clean, guys, yeah? We will also be joined in the studio by local WI organiser, Margaret Whitlow, who quite unbelievably holds the world record for producing belly button fluff and has begun selling her own line of fashionable knitwear from it. Neil, grab me the hip flask, would you? Also, be cracking open the greenhouse window. Back after this. Let the bicken see the hole. Bicken Hole Radio. I know what you're thinking, and before you say it, I had nothing to do with it. I swear, I don't even pick the guests anymore. I'm going to go right now and buy you the warmest, tightest range of naval lint budgie smugglers that woman has to offer. Oh, it's a waste of time. My mum knows her. She's already bought me the full set, snood and matching gloves. Everything. Hey, did you respond to that guy on Twitter earlier? I told him to give us a call, yeah. You haven't? Yeah, why not? We are a call-in show. I'll tell you, shall I? Sit back, relax, OK? One, I'm not a fucking therapist, Neil. I'm already a pharmacist. May as well open up my own fucking doctor's practice. Two, right. Look, if he's listening, he'll hear you asking for callers, right? So what's stopping him anyway? He obviously needs to talk. Yeah, two professionals, Neil. Not you and me. Uh, may I remind you, we won a Bicken Hole Local Radio Award of Excellence for Community Wellbeing last month, did we not? I still think they called out the wrong name. Well, Barbara Dish wasn't too happy, was she? Look, it won't hurt. We need this. Good for ratings. I suppose. But hey, just warn me beforehand, OK? Not like last time when you suddenly had an aversion to call screening. It was a farce. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Right up to the point when the surprisingly chatty woman from Big and Hall's Stroke Survivors Club called in. It was like having a conversation with Joseph fucking Merrick. A big, big thank you to Margaret there. And that yarn bombing club sounds bloody great. Good on ya. Better to be a yarn bomber than a suicide bomber, am I right? I'd have to ask around on that one. Next up, we shall open the greenhouse window. Is it me or is it hot in here? Back in five. It's most definitely you. Did you actually just make a suicide bomber joke or have you spiked my tea again because, as you put it, I needed to loosen up? Fucking hell, do you think they'll mind? By they, do you mean the Radio Standards Commission that not only fund this show but have links with anti-terrorism organisation Disarm? Nah, they'll be sound, I'm sure. As we're on the subject of controlling narcissists, though, did you see that guy after? Course I did. Anna's mate. Fucking obsessed, aren't I? Although, <laughs> you'll like this. No, I won't. They were out of pastrami in the Asda, apparently, right? So he only goes and brings the frozen fucking chicken over instead. <laughs> Whoa, hang on. I thought the other guy liked pastrami. Um, there was Adam Tat. Well, yeah, they all do. Nah, uh, let, let me guess. Uh, You've all contracted salmonella and possibly some sort of rare strain of E. coli? Because, I don't know, you used its beak as some sort of kinky sacrificial nipple clamp? No, we fucking ate it with a nice Caesar and some crusty bread, if you must know, judgmental dick. (coughs) Bick and Hole Radio. Um... Yes. Oh, hi there. Um, just a sec. Um, can I put you on hold? Yep. 
thank you. Uh, thanks. Yo, chicken licking. It's him. Who? Him, you know, the paper, the, the, the sweeter, you know, the guy who needs help. Oh, great, a vast improvement. Suicide bombers to suicide watch. He sounds all right. He may not be that bad. He will be. It's all in it. Hello? Yeah, hi. Um, so, yeah, after we go to a little break, we'll open up those lines and get you on. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Rosie can chat with you about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. So what name do you want to use then? Okay, sure. No problem, mate. Uh, leave it to us. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine, fella. Oh, no. You're in good hands with Rosie. <laughs> Hold the line, matey. Oh, cheers. Relax. He's all right. Oh, yeah. And he's called Dave. Oh, so we finally get a name. Oh, no, it's not his real name. Why do I have to call him Dave, then? Because he wants to protect his identity. Protect his identity? What the fuck's he done? Every fucker knows everything about everyone here. No, we'll find out soon, won't we? But why Dave, though? Couldn't it be something more... I don't know, sexier? Hmm. Like, hello, Dimitri. Colin, hang on, he's a murderer, isn't he? Or the real big park pervert? I knew it, we're all going to die. Don't be so ridiculous. You know his real name is Pat Noggin. He's called him before, remember? He's on after Dave. But why? The park's locked after eight. Yes, folks, that sound can only mean one thing. Our greenhouse window is officially open. Oh, just look at it. It's like the gaping chasms of the Grand Canyon, as wide as James Corden's trap. Let's get over to the callers. I believe we have Pedro on the line. Pedro, are you there? It's Dave. We have Dave. Ah, yes, Dave now. For those who haven't seen it yet. We have had a tweet from our Dave prior to the show today, and I can see a few of you have retweeted it. Thanks for that. But we've had an atter to him, and it seems things aren't going so well for him at the moment. So we've got him on the line now. Dave, would you like to discuss things? Anything. This is noggin, you idiot. What? Bad reception in the park. Everyone knows that. No, it's not. It's Dave. Talk to him. It can be hard to talk sometimes, Dave, but here in the garden, we are a friendly bunch. Mostly. David? Oh, we've lost Dave. Um, whilst Neil calls them back, let me say, if you're planning on calling in, guys, please, please, please ensure you have signal. Don't stand in the park or under a tree. How are we getting on, Mr Folden? Any luck for our listeners? The natives are getting restless here. I think we've got Dave back. I'm getting a thumbs up from Mr Folding. Ain't you got really small thumbs? (laughs) Dave, the man himself. Are you receiving us now? What the fuck just happened? Power's out the whole station. Hub? Yep. I feel kind of bad for leaving Dave like that. Oh, fuck him. He didn't answer, did he? All right, love. Who's that? Dunno, knows me though, doesn't he? Isn't it your brother? Oh shit, yeah, it is. (laughs) But in here, create some talent out tonight. Look at the line at the bar. We're never gonna get served. Now, sit there. No, not there. There. I'll get you a drink. What are you having? Lua and a diet coke. Gotta watch my figure. I can watch that for you, darling. She he could. <laughs> Kalua and diet coke, please, and uh, a lager. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Oh, hi. You all right? Right, I'm out with the lads. Oh, that's good. Josh here somewhere. Good, good. Uh, 
hope he's all right. He said he tried to call you. Did he? <laughs> yeah, I'll get him for you now. Oh, no, no, you don't need to do that. Okay, he's over there anyway. With your friend Rosie, isn't it? Oh, shit. Um, Oi. Excuse me. Hello. Sorry. Wank. Oh. Sorry. So I said to him, you can fuck right off. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Here he is. Got lost, did ya? This is Josh. It, Josh. Do you know Josh? Yeah. Uh, hi. Hello. Listen, there's a seat over there by the window. You'll like it over there. Um, why don't so, you... So, how do you two know each other? We met here, didn't we? About uh, a year ago. I think so. When did you come here without me? I can't remember. Listen, oh, I'm not feeling too well. Um, I'm going to go home. Um, here, have my lager. I'll go to bed. Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. So long, traitor. <gasps> oh, it's alright, really. Kind of sweet. He looks at us in this. He does, yeah. Not like as in, he's me kid. I'm not tagged or not. Just wish he could find someone. Does he need someone? Everyone does, don't they? Maybe. He's too picky. What in? He's never been with anyone. I've known him for years. He's never expressed any interest, not even in me. Really? Straight up. I mean, come on. Every guy in here is looking at me right now. Oh. Has he uh, ever said anything to you about who he likes? No, I don't think so. He's much more reserved about that stuff. Yeah. So shy, shy, shy. Hush, hush, eye to eye. Oh, come on, let's have a dance. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. Oh, I will. If you've been affected by any issues raised in this episode, or if you're finding it hard to cope, please don't suffer in silence. We know how difficult it can be, and sometimes how impossible it seems to open up and talk. But by doing so, you could find the help you need, and it could save your life. Please research local advice hubs, community groups and NHS initiatives in your area that will listen, advise and support you through whatever you're going through. Alternatively, reach out to us directly. Contact us through social media and get involved with the hashtag We Are All Dave to share your story. You have been listening to Fenella Fudge, Claudia Greer, Alan Lear, Curtis Ledsham, Nadia Lee, Richard Oliver, James Phillips, Michael Prosper, Hannah Thompson, Ashley Tyler and David Tyson. Fifty Shades of Dave was written and produced by David Lee and recorded at Material Studios Liverpool and has been made possible with the help from the Martin Gallia Project and Involve Northwest. Thank you for listening. Hi there. Are you a fan of all things horror? Yeah? You are? Well, in that case, find Tuesday Terrors, which is the mutual audio feed that comes out on a Tuesday, believe it or not. Shock horror, I know. But if you subscribe there, you'll find amazing horror fiction audio in your player every Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday Terrors. Subscribe to the Mutual Audio Network. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.